exit to I-15 North, Salt Lake City. Cheers. Oh my fucking goodness. What time does the lifts open up? Five, bro. Five. Smokey the mailman. Those are the uh, high spirit orders. We're gonna be dropping these off on the way before we head out to Utah. These literally just came in the mail. I don't even think you guys understand how big this fucking mat is. Here's the regular raw OG dab pad. So if you guys have one of these, this is in comparison. I know the bong's a little dirty, but we're in a hurry. Cheers. Be careful with that bong bag. We got a uh, the tree cycler. Boop. He got us. Well, I'm upset. Since there's a car crash, we're being delayed super fat, and we bought night tickets to ski tonight. I've never done it before, and I really wanted to snowboard in the fucking night, but we're not gonna get here until like eight o'clock, and the lifts close at nine. We were a little late as it is, but given that we were supposed to arrive when we thought, we still would have had time to snowboard tonight. But now it's looking like we're gonna get there and there's gonna be an hour left of time. At least we have this for the car ride, so we can, you know. This is normally like a two hour, two and a half hour drive that just got turned into a four hour, so. We are all geared up in high spirit. Look at this thing. This thing is as big as my face. We got the beanies. Most of these are honestly sold out. Probably do reprints of these, but this is the stoned ape tee. If you're not familiar, high spirit baby. And the traffic begins. Yay. Chilling in the Smith's parking lot. We made it through the really shitty traffic. Probably not gonna be able to make it tonight for the night snowboarding, but the plan is we're gonna go to the customer service and let them know that, yo, we had tickets for, you know, the prior day and we weren't able to make it because of the traffic. So if they would kindly let us snowboard that night instead, we don't even want a refund. Either way, we stopped at Smith's to get some food because lots of shit in Utah closes really early. We want to have something to have during the night while we get high and have the munchies. We've got about like an hour left till we arrive. Checking in on the hockey game. And I think I'm gonna take a bone rip. I think I want one too. Not allowed. Yeah. I-15 North, Salt Lake City. Cheers. <clears throat> Time. That place sucks, dude. Yeah. Oh my god, that place sucks. <coughs> I went out to one of those in Cali one time. <coughs> <coughs> Fucking garbage. And here's the thing with me with tacos, like, obviously, like, I prefer something authentic, but I can still appreciate, like, a good Americanized taco. Like, it still tastes good, you know? Right. But, like, their shit, it's an Americanized and it's shit. It's not even good. <laughs> Fuck taco time. <laughs> I experienced love. In case I don't see it, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I was a little suspect because there's only, this is like a brand new Airbnb, there's only one other person that stayed here, so one review. This was the one thing we were really looking for for this Airbnb. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm so hyped on these. Okay, yeah, this is a microwave right here. <laughs> I've never, why is it down here? That is really weird. Uh, open. 
Oh, look at this fucking thing, dude. <laughs> what is this? Fucking Jetsons, bro. That's a futuristic cartoon for all you young people. Time to uh, get the rest of our shit. So, we got the rest of our shit. Snowboard bag, clothing bag. Long bag, we're about to smoke and shit. I'm so happy you brought another saw. I got my tree, he got the three line. This fucking mat is huge. <laughs> I wanna see if this can fit two bones on it at once. It might be able to. Oh, uh, we got big bases on it. Oh, uh, no, I think I mean, the dab pad is huge, but these bases are. Let's see. I mean, yeah? Let's see here. Dude, it does. It does. Wow. I was gonna, I was about to say a little of it overlaps, but no, you can get it all on. I mean, it's a really tight fit, but hey, that's crazy. This fucking mood mat is so big. Look at that, two sovereignties on it, baby. That's crazy. I just got these in the mail today. I barely had any time to see it. Literally walked out my door when I was leaving to go on this trip and saw the box. Grabbed one to go and here we are. It's fucking beautiful, high spirit. Highspirit.co. It's weird, you got like... Oh, right here. We got a uh, Jimmy Chonga 420. Banana Sherpa. Oh! Oh, that does have a... It has like a banana cushy smell for sure. I can always appreciate a banana strain that actually smells like bananas. Almost smells kind of cheesy too. Mm -hmm. It's like right. bana banana cheese. That kind of sounds gross, but... That's what it smells like. So yeah, dude, this sink water is supposed to be super clean. Super clean. So in Vegas, it's like probably not the best idea to drink sink water. But Brighthead is supposed to have. We're in Brighthead, Utah. It's supposed to have some of the cleanest, pure sink water you can literally drink out of the sink. So that's hey. cool. Fine. Well, you got yourself a nice little meal here. Yeah, honestly, like this thing is cool, but. I'd rather just open it, dude. Get some Jones cane sugar soda. I've never tried this before. It literally tastes like an orange cream, so cool. <sighs> that rip got me. I'm not tapping out though. Let's smoke some more. I like how the breeze is going out way perfectly. Well, remember, it goes out, up, comes in at the bottom. It's just physics. One of the things that was like not non-negotiable was a balcony just so we could comfortably smoke. And I don't know, I really like the placement of it because we really just have to crack it open and, you know, blow it out there. <sighs> Morning. Well, good morning. It's morning time. We had a little situation last night. <laughs> One of our lovely neighbors here in the Airbnb decided that they didn't like the smell of weed and they should probably call the cops on us because, yeah. But last night, it's probably like 11.30, maybe 12, I don't even know, somewhere around there. And we're literally getting ready to go to bed. I'm laying on the fucking couch right here watching 60 Days In on Hulu and we get a fucking boom, 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 boom on the door and I'm like, first thing that goes through my mind, that's not a friendly knock, that sounds like the fucking police. So I'm sitting here laying here, Smokey actually goes to answer the door and I didn't even see who it was because Smokey was smart, he kind of like barely opened it up and then walked outside to go talk to whoever it was. Turned out to be not just any other fucking cop, it was a fucking marshal. So I know we're out in Utah and shit's illegal but I didn't think people cared that much. We weren't smoking inside the house, so it wasn't stinking in here. Maybe like we got some fire. We're opening up our jars and might linger out there a little bit. But we're on the balcony 
taking hits and shit. I mean, I took one hit where I was standing here and I blew it out the window and then closed the fucking door instantly. So it's not like it's stinking that much in here. There's someone over here that just fucking hates weed. And they decided that it'd probably be the best idea to just call the cops. And it's like, alright. I think this is the first time I've ever had the cops called on me for smoking weed. Never in my life. I've been smoking for since I was like 15. 22 now. And here we are. <laughs> Smokey's in there taking a shit right now. Um, I'm just gonna get dressed and go hit the slopes and... <laughs> I still can't believe that shit happened. Like, we're still gonna be smoking and shit. We're just gonna have to be a lot more careful. We got the smoke trap right here, so... We thought we were fine just blowing out the rips on the balcony, but apparently our shit is so smelly, it... <laughs> pissed off some other people, so we're gonna be just blowing it out of this. I get it, not everyone likes the smell of weed, not everyone smokes weed, but... Do you really gotta fucking call the cops? Like, if it really bothered you, you could've came and knock on the door, but no, you gotta be one of those fucks who are like, Yo, 911, someone's smoking weed over here. And hey, no disrespect to the Airbnb host either, you know, it's the fucking stupid neighbors, man. The marshal was actually really cool too. He wasn't really giving us a hard time, so that was cool. He pretty much just let us know, like, yo, if you guys are gonna smoke, you, <laughs> you're gonna have to go out a little more far because you're sneaking up the fucking place. Then again, like, it couldn't have been that bad because we were on the fucking balcony. Maybe it smelled outside, but, you know, not inside the whole condo, come on. So, in celebration for that, I'm gonna take a wake and bake rip and just try to be a little more careful with it. I would really hate for these fucks to do some stupid shit like that again. You're not gonna stop me from smoking weed, I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry. People who called the cops are probably one of those people who, they like took a hit one time in their life and had a panic attack and now they just hate weed. They're like, oh my god. You fucking drug addicts. Ah. Probably called the cops and were like, oh my god, this weed is giving me a panic attack. Smells like cigarettes out here, I should call the cops. Ah. Fucking pussies. A little chilly out here, but it's morning, it should warm up. It's supposed to be a really sunny day here out on the mountain, so it shouldn't have to wear too much layers underneath. It's funny, like, when we, I was saying how when we got this Airbnb, we made sure to get a balcony so we could come out here and smoke, and we still managed to piss someone off. Oh, well, we're gonna go, let's take a fucking rip. These people can suck my dick. So I already kind of gave a little broke down to my people about what happened. Dude, this man, Smoochies, man. Dude, this man is legit though. So he answered the fucking door, and when he came out, he pretty much was like, "All right, who did it?" He took all the fucking blame. <laughs> the fuck. <man. laughs> Because <laughs> what originally happened, Smokey went and answered the door, and then literally five seconds later, they're like, you gotta come out here because technically my thing's on the Airbnb. It was actually pretty smart, so I come out there, and he's like, yo, I'm a medical patient, I'm really sorry, we were just being really chill, and cop was honestly really cool. It's just these fucking snitch-ass motherfuckers. The funny thing is, we even cool. have Ozium. We barely spray it any, we usually spray it in the hotel or the Airbnb before we check out, so when after someone comes back in to like clean and check it out, it don't stink. Bruh. See, I hit it down there. You're all crazy hitting it up there and shit. Well, little update, we talked to the Airbnb host and everything is fantastic. Big fuck you to the neighbors who decided to be five years old and call the cops on the smell of weed. We're getting ready now. A little later than we started because that little mishap we had to deal with, we were kind of pacing like, bro, we about to get kicked out of this shit, but we're good. About to hit the fucking slopes for the rest of this video, or at least while we're at the mountain. I'm going to be using my GoPro, so we're going to switch up the footage. I'll see you guys on there.
Toes fucking pointed down. 